Sessions. We are here live again on Sunday. Whoosh, Sunday morning sessions. And uh, 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 hang on. Da-na-na-na. You can see it on the watch. 7:30. I made it on time. <laughs> can see my inner circle of trust going. Doosh, 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 doosh. I've lost all my cash. <clears throat> so I don't know who's the believer today and said I'll be on time, but you cleaned up. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So uh, how are you all doing out there? Lovely to have your company already. Coffee in, tea in, fruit smoothie in, whatever is your poison this morning. Get it in because we've got a good show to have a look at. Chat is on fire. I can see we've got about 20 people in the room. Get in there, everyone. Good morning. I just realized it's a bank holiday next week. Awesome. I love it. So we'll get the chat rolling. What are you guys doing next weekend? Is there some slot action happening? Are you doing some slot action in your sheds, garages, attics? What are you doing? Are you taking it round to relatives up the track? See, that's what I've started to consider doing. So got to go out to the father-in-laws. No problem. Take a track. Get it in there. Because whoever's there will have forgotten how, how good they are. Oh, no, I've whacked the lighting off. Oh, you know, never work with animal children or me. All right. Oh, I'll get set the lighting up. Damn it. It was going so well. <laughs> so well. Interesting, Lou. Do you know what? I can't find the lighting, so ram it. We're going dark. We're going dark and salubrious on this occasion. I seriously have no idea. Oh, here it is. I found it. Right, let me wire this up. I mean, literally, where else do you get this on the telly? There, see? Hot now. That's the problem with being a slot car fanatic. So anyway, yeah. So right, we'll get into that. Let us know uh, what you're going to be doing next bank holiday, uh, because we've got a show on next week as well. We've got some stuff to look at today. For top of the tree, top of the tree. Uh, we like to pass our. I know that we don't do. We're going to cover what we do and don't do in a bit. I think it's important. But uh, I know that they watch. So just sending our regards to Princess Kate, who's very ill. Um, get well soon. You know, I'd like to say I know I'm like, uh, you know, mates, but I don't. But I definitely know that George and Louis probably watch this. So, yeah, if you're watching, get well soon. There you go. Done my housekeeping. Um, so what else has been going down this week? Oh, loads of stuff, really. I've been getting... I've been getting around uh, YouTube a little bit. Um... But not much. I had a day off on Friday, which is nice. I was thinking oh, I have three days off. No, 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 no. My wife ambushed my uh, day off on Friday because she doesn't work Friday. So she instantly thought that that was a hangout day. It wasn't. So I allocated yesterday to be my hangout day. Mm, it's all half on, half off. And then today I thought solid. Do the Sunday slot car sessions. Get the dog out for a walk. Done. I did my shopping on Friday. It was one of those ambushes. And... Um, no, no. One of my mates called me. Goes, uh, yeah. Uh, are you still on for wedding suit fitting on Sunday at one o'clock in Milton Keynes? I was like, why, why would you do that to me when I want to record things? Oh, talking of recording, got a video coming out later today. Yes, rally racing. So if you want to see something a little bit different, check into that. That's going to be good fun. Uh, right. So. Uh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is the extravaganza. So I'll put that on the screen a bit later on, towards the end of the show, when we have a little roundup of what's going on, what we can go out and do in the forthcoming sort of weeks and months ahead. Because, you know, we need a bit of time to plan, everyone. So that's what we best do. All right. Oh, sugar. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Oh, I've just got to protect this. There. Bush. Okay. Right. Who's in the chat? 
Who's with us? Everyone. <laughs> By the look of it. <laughs> oh, my word. So, I like it because at the start of the show, you start to get a lot of guys from over the States because they're up late. They've uh, been out, out. They're coming back. They're tuning in while they're winding down. Or they're just hardcore. No, not hardcore. Hard to the core. <laughs> hard to the core. Like the fingers and DK Moon. And I think I saw Mark from Slop Journal and Ted's up. Look, see, Ted's up. There you go. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Right, let's get in it. What time is it where you are, the fingers and DK Moon and Ted? Let us know in the chat what time it is there. Okay, well, look, the fingers hang out as long as you can hold on. And then when you flake out, no problem at all, mate, because no idea what time it is there but it's not half 7 a.m that's for sure that's the last thing you need isn't it? you're like at the end of the day on your tether like you're like oh i can do one more video i can watch one more slot car video before i crash and then so actually me coming on with a bit of energy it's probably the tonic you need so i don't know what time it is and i'll probably get to that in a little while I uh, hope you're still with us, DK Moon. We are half an hour on from when you pop this on. Yep, the clocks go back, I think, uh, in a couple of weeks. I got that right. I thought it was the end of March, believe it or not. Uh, someone Google that. And, uh, well, I'll get to it in a minute. Sausage, egg and biscuits. Ah, oh, the fingers, mate. All I'm thinking is sausage and eggs on a plate sprinkled with custard creams. Boy, that is a uh, an acquired taste. Excellent aid. Aid is on his Dunlop Bridge. Aid has a slot car YouTube channel. So if you want some more content, which is actually really good, uh, then tune into Aid's slot car shed. That's where you're going to find him. Putting these LEDs on Dunlop Bridges, on Ferris, on, I'm not spoiling anymore. But he knows what he's talking about. He's got resistors going on so he doesn't blow up the, um, blow up the LEDs and stuff. Well thought out. I'm hoping he'll do a video. Aid! I'm hoping you'll do a video on uh, resistors and how you, you know, <laughs> I put resistors, electrical resistors into Google the other day. I'm going to need some steering on this one because there's about 500,000 reviews uh, sorry, products on there, <clears throat> what we could use. And they all got different color lines on there, and I just don't know what they mean. So if you've got a quick route to telling us what to get in a video, that would be really handy, mate. So no hurry for it. Uh, no hurry at all. Just when you're ready, that would be good. I know you're up, and I'm ready. I'm here for you now. Um, <laughs> Ted, you... You come across like the guy who can handle a late, a late night or two or three. Unlike me, I can't, which is why I look like I've had a late night or three. <laughs> oh, man. Awesome. So, Rob Sales in. Um, you best behave. And Daz is here. Also, best behave. You've got the spanners of powers. Going to help me guide through the house rules, which we'll cover in a little while. House rules. And I'll explain exactly why, we, why I'm going to mention them. Because it is an epic day. Today is an epic episode, everyone. Ah, oh, it's so good. You'll see why in a bit. Oi da! A slot car dude is here. Good morning, mate. All right, bro, been in it. That's uh, good morning in Chelmsford. Uh, he knew what I meant. Good morning, Harry. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> Anyone doesn't know what I'm on about? Harry's sticker turned up. I got Harry's sticker right there on the wall. So I'm going to gradually fly paper the wall. I think that's the thing to do. You know, like at the end of the sports, whatever, like the football, the rugby, the tennis, the whatever your your sport is, and they all bimble in, don't they? Like the players, like. Duh, 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 duh. And they come in and they stand behind that big board with all the sponsors and all of the, you know, whatever's on there. And they all stand there and uh, it, it was a great game. We could have played better, but, you know, it was a great game nevertheless. You know, they've just won 5-0 and they come out, oh, yeah, we could have played better. They don't come out and go, yeah, we cleaned up, we took it to them. 
you know, uh, we want to see a bit more of that, a bit more excitement about winning. It's all getting a bit woke here. You win or lose, you get a rosette. What's that about? Come on. Anyway, good morning, Tara. She's in the house. Oh, good morning. Nice to have your company. And uh, if I'm a bit louder, do you reckon we'll wake Steve up? Dave! <laughs> yes, that's right. Everyone's a sp Everyone's a spanner. <laughs> I get cancelled for stuff like this. Stop it. Uh, good morning, John. How you doing? Lovely to see you, Janu. And, um, yeah, Nico. How was... I've got... Nico's got a new video out. He did a tour. I haven't watched it yet. I'm going to watch it later. I've got a train ride to go and get wedding suit fitting. So I'm going to get on that there. Good morning, Rob. Rob is up. And Ted is up. This can only mean trouble with these boys. Double trouble are in the house. So are you... Hey, I'll tell you what. You guys should make a tired podcast ah oh, there's so much fun because as much as you try to be positive and happy it, you just keep moaning <laughs> so that's the rule never make videos when you're tired because you're just like no nah, it don't, don't work it don't, 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 i'm angry so excellent um oh yeah the museum was fantastic this is what you did your video on nico slot car dude i'm gonna be watching it and uh, everyone else, we've got Delion and Ted are in here and they are doing podcasts, everyone. So if you've not seen their podcast yet, I definitely recommend those. Get over there and check them out because they are talking about stuff that is topical, stuff that is historic, stuff I don't, I, I don't know because I've only been back in the hobby for a while. I'm literally like a flash in the pan at the moment. I don't feel like I'm established in the hobby, which is fine because it is a massive, massive hobby with tons going on. Talking about tons going on, I'm a bit envious of that slot car guy, Travis, because he's got the F1 in his backyard this weekend. Trav, you lucky, lucky bleeder. You can probably hear the engines from his house while he's watching it on TV. So lucky. Rahul, if you're watching this back, my friend, you remember we come up with the um, concept for an extra... Um, an extra print on the Gaiden t-shirts on one of the arms. I think on the other arm, you could possibly put a blue spanner. <laughs> <clears throat> We've just got a few. Um, just because people come and go, I just want to know that there's at least two people in the chat moderating at any given time. Um, it allows the other guy to go to the lavatory. It allows one person to have a week off. And um, yeah, that that's that's why it's heavy on spanners. And uh, but these are all trusted guys. These are all guys that literally uh, I'd feel comfortable leaving my kids with for the afternoon. So that's what that's the barometer of getting a spanner is. You know, do I trust you? <laughs> so there you go, boys. That's uh, the level I hold you in regard to. Mm -hmm. Oh, Roger's here. Good morning, Rog. Stick around, mate. I think you're going to like it. I like it in a bit. It's going to get good. Going to get good. It's already good. Oh, nice. Carl's here as well from Liverpool. Uh, actually, no, I don't think that is Carl from Liverpool because Carl's Jel Aviv. So, good morning, Carl. Sorry about the mix-up. Definitely sorry if you're not a scouse of calling you a scally. Uh, there you go. Uh, Darren is here. Yes, he's uh, helping Albert out because Albert hasn't surfaced and turned up yet, aged eight. What are these kids about these days? Honestly, sleep trolls. I call them schlafs. Schlaf and darfen. So well done. Uh, yeah, I didn't even introduce myself. I just got straight into it. It's Pete Brown bringing you Sunday slot car sessions again this week. We are gearing up ahead of a long weekend next week for the Easter Bank holiday. And, um, yep, you can find slot car related action here each week from 7.30 with me, the groovy gang in the chat. And anyone new who's watching, come on, stick around, come back. It's all good. If you like what you see or you feel like, uh, you know, it's OK, like it. That's fine. I don't mind. Thank you. And if you're really feeling a bit dooku, as I say, hit the subscribe button. I don't like asking for it. I do feel a bit dirty now. Now I've asked for it. But I actually, you know, does ask for it first. So he's got the major filth. I just got a bit of residual. Um, but anyway, yeah, smash the cowbell as well. And talking of cowbells, 
talking of cowbells, I'm going to come on to it a bit later again. But I was having a chat with Rob Swift earlier in the week. And uh, he is absolutely proof in the pudding that I am not getting cowbells notifications. I don't know what to do. Uh, I write to Google. They seem to think it works fine. Docker, it doesn't. And I'm not getting old. Well, I am, but I'm not that old. So he um, he just, uh, we were having a chat about something I'll talk about later. Uh and, you know, I'm so apologetic. I just don't get the notifications. Don't get his. Don't get DNAs. Don't get uh, slot R's. I don't get, don't get hardly any. Whose notifications? I'll tell you whose notifications I do get, which is completely random, is Slot Car News, Dave Kennedy. What's that about? So get his. Get no one else's. Don't even get Magnetic Racing. And, like, I love those guys. So, um... What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have to, I'm after going to draw like a little list of the slot card channels that I like and I follow. I'm just going to make a point of every five minutes, five minutes every couple of times a week. Just go through it just to check I'm not missing out. It's just tricky. Um, yeah, because I don't know what to do to get these notifications. I'm like, you, it's just not fair. I'm missing out, but I'm not going to miss out no more. Okay, right. So now we've got that covered. Okay. Right, it's just, uh, I'm just working my way through. Oh, good morning. Slot Car Fun is here. How you doing, dude? Nice to have your company. <laughs> it is. OBE, don't worry about that. Uh, they will never let me have an OBE. Although, you know, I did met the late queen. I did meet the late queen twice. So, you know, I have skin in the game. I'm in the Royal, I am part of the Royal, I'm big Royalist. You cannot, it's instilled in you if you're in the army. You, know, you are patriot, totally and 100%. You try and take a St. George's cross out of an army guy's hands. It ain't going to happen. You try and, oh my good Lord, I'm not going into it, but England football shirt. I mean, I don't really, as you know, I don't really, I'm not an armchair supporter. Don't go there, Pete. Okay, I'm not happy with it. That's all I'm saying. Just, just, just don't go there, Pete. Okay, <clears throat> I've had a word with myself. I was about to let rip on the England shirt, but I'm pulling it in. Or I'll break me over rules later. <laughs> so, um, yeah, good morning, Cribbit. I've had a word with myself already, and we're like 18 minutes deep into this show. What is that about? <laughs> Hiya, Paul. You all right? How you doing, mate? Good morning. Oh, yes. Morning. Mum is in the house, everyone. Good morning, Mum. And good day, Reese. Are you watching the F1 today, Reese? Probably already finished, isn't it? Oh, Steve's here. Steve, we had some live uh, coverage via Andy and Ruben from uh, the slot drag racing on Friday. That looked pretty cool. Clock's forward next week. Thank you, everyone. Right. I am catching up, catching up, catching up. Uh, yeah, cheers, Aid. Yeah, Aid. Brilliant. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Clock's forward next Sunday. Excellent. Right. So that means... We get a lay-in, we get a lay-in. I love it. I can handle that. And I'll still be late. Ah, <laughs> oh, brilliant. Uh, nice. Yes, Ted. An all-nighter. Now an all-nighter. That's an all-nighter, staying up, going out, out, or partying, or having your friends around for drinky poos and stuff. Nowadays, an all-nighter is simply getting up three times in the middle of the night for the toilet, right? <laughs> Well, it is for me anyway, and I love it. Oh. Oh, look. Rog. Roger, nice one, mate. How are you doing? <laughs> you shouldn't have had to done that, mate. You shouldn't have had to do that. Sorry. It's very kind. Right. So this here, is what you're seeing on the screen, is not necessarily a contribution as such. What's happened is I sent Roger out a cup 
one of these because he actually won it in a competition. Uh, snail trail, ma snail mail. Uh, he said they ain't got it. And this is like three weeks ago, maybe four weeks ago. So I said, you know what? I'll just send you another one. It's a cup, you know, first world problems. We'll get your cup, get you. And he ordered a t-shirt as well. Thank you ever so much for that, Roger. It's gone for military green. I won't tell you what logo, uh, cause we might pop it up when he gets it. You never know. I don't know how shy he is. So this donation here is actually for to buy the second cup. You didn't need to do this. You didn't, but thank you anyway. It, it does help cover the costs. Oh, Reese, what have you done, man? Wow, you want to see the other guy? No, we don't condone violence. It's just a bit of banter, but wow, I hope you're all right. What was it? Was it an accident? Did you fall off? Did you do a boom? Did you fall off the ladder or? Did you do a me? Did you have a car accident? What? Well, how did you do it? What happened? And if it was pathetic, like you tripped over a banana skin and, <laughs> and hit the curbstone, just make something up. Just make something up like you had to grapple the shark and uh, and it shattered your arm because you weren't quicker. Just make something up. Just tell us what it was. In fact, let's have, let's have some fun. Obviously, I wish you well, Reese, and I hope you're well. This is all banter, of course. But should we have some speculation of how Reese shattered his arm? Uh, all fun, by the way, you know. So I think personally, he was walking down the street, texting, and he walked into scaffolding and he bounced backwards, fell over and accidentally landed on his arm and it went wrong. Oh, that is enough. That, that is hard work. That is. Oh, there he is. Travis, truck fans. How you doing, mate? It's that slot car guy, everyone. Oh, so Steve was racing on Friday, actually racing, because Steve's a massive sorter outer. He just sorts everyone else out to have a good race. That's what I like about it. It's selfless. Yeah, selfless. And Tony is here. Good morning, Tony. Brilliant. Fantastic. Yes. It's, uh, there's not too far from the truth, Pat, if I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, Tara's, you know, Tara's got broad shoulders. She'd probably accept that. So, oh, yes, grandson of man is here. Good morning. <laughs> Who, oh, you need to strike him off your friend list, Rob. Who in the hell calls you at that time of the morning? However, if you, uh, you know, if any of uh, my friends need help, they can call me. They can call me at any time of the day and night because uh, that's what good pals do. Slot speed. Oh, I'm new to the chat. Hello, mate. Good Morgan Vigates. I do a bilingual now and again. Heartbeat fast Ferrari. Okay. All right. We are pretty much there. We are there or thereabouts. Thank you ever so much, Travis. Yes. And Janu, send me the stickers from you, mate. Right. I will do. Janu. In the WhatsApp, my friend, send me your address and I will send them out tomorrow. All right, buddy? Can't say fairer than that. All right, let's let's uh, let's get on. We've got a show to get on with. Yes, we do. All right. There we go. We'll go with that one. So, oh, what did you think of these cars then, eh? Oh, you do know I like a bit of vintage, you know, being a fossil and all that myself. Uh, oh, yeah, this is right up my street. So I'm, I'm walking into Rockingham Slot Car Club on Friday night, place I go racing every Friday. It's open from 7.30. Anyone is welcome, right? So if you're watching this and you're in the Midlands somewhere and you're sort of like, oh, I want to go slot car racing. I hear about it all the time. I see it on YouTube. I can't get away from it on Facebook, even like Mr. D slot drag racing. Uh, just one one of many facets of slot car racing in the hobby. He run his in Chelmsford on Friday night. We were doing um, Group 5 in Rockingham. That's the season for the next couple of few weeks at Rockingham. So bring down your Zach Speed Capris and your whatever else is. I don't actually know what else is in the class because pretty much everyone bar two were driving Zach Speed Capris from Sideways Racer, the brand Sideways Racer. 
Capri. So if you, you know, you want to compete, that's that's generally the car for the class. Same as if you're in the classics, uh, classics GT class, you're generally going to be racing a Porsche 908 or something uh, very seldom, something different. Again, if you're in GT3, you're likely to be racing a Corvette C7 or a Lambo Hurricane. Hurricane. So, you know, there's things. So I'm walked up there thinking, oh, yeah, here we go. My weekly beating on the slot car track. I don't mind. I like it because I just like racing slot cars. I just like gunning the trigger, getting some speed, bang, to the corner, slowing down, trying it. Oh, it's brilliant. I can't get enough of it. Still, after four years of being back in the hobby, I'm still literally every day is a school day. Uh, and we'll talk about school days a bit later because it's getting a little bit political. And we... We don't do politics here, but check out these cars. And they, they've been sent by proxy from around the country to Rockingham Slot Car Club, being one of the clubs that are going to race these cars next weekend, next Saturday, by proxy. And then we're going to box them up and send them on to the next club. So I kind of invited myself down there to be a part of it as uh I was looking at them instantly. They were at the top of the stairs as you enter the club. So I'm like, phone out, phone out, get the recording going on this. So I'm recording away. Uh, Dick's come over, Dick Gardner, and he's like, oh, yeah, uh, we're racing them next week. You want to come along, bring the camera? I was like, yes, please. So uh, I am there next Saturday. It's a bank holiday, and uh, I cannot wait because, look, they look like fun. You don't see these. At the UK Slot Car, well, you do see some of these at the UK Slot Car Festival, but it's very limited. You know, if you want these kind of cars nowadays, unless you're talking to uh, Le Mans Miniatures or maybe George Turner or Pete Shepard, who both do Sterling kits, then you ain't seeing them. You ain't seeing them because, you know, unfortunately not mass market sellers. It's not it's not uh, an Audi R8 or, um, I don't know, uh, Lola T70 it's not a really popular car you know so just really happy to share this sort of selection of these cars with you um so yeah that's uh so that's that is just something special so I'm just catching up with the um with the chat Okay, they are or Swiss someone would do a brush. Yeah, well that would be good. The, the challenge is is getting some of the little bits and bobs that we need to make the brass chassis with and then getting people infused into it, Tony. Because it's really convenient to just go and buy a slot car for 50 quid. It's a bit inconvenient to solder everything and then realize that you just your uh back axle brackets are a millimeter out of line so you can't get that axle to drop through on its own weight or something but that being said precision and and building and engineering I, I quite like it i'm learning it it's coming to me uh bit by bit as you see from the weekly member stream everyone will vouch for that who's it who's who comes along and on that note thank you very much we had a couple of new members this week uh, shamefully, I didn't write them down to say thank you, but come on Wednesday, uh, 8.30 as usual. Um, you will see what we're doing at the moment. Had to had to, some issues last week, but I'm in the process of resolving those and you'll see the resolution on Wednesday. So if that's not enough to entice your curiosity, I don't know what is. And yeah, I'll agree with you on this, Nico. Shh. Pendle Schlott, sounding like Sean Connery, has some good chassis that can help you on that one. Yeah, do you know, they are old, mate. They're even older than me that's saying something. Uh, no, 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 no. Hang on. Let me go big. Not yet. Not yet. Hold that thought. Uh, or at least wait until like one hour and 50 minutes, yeah? <laughs> yeah, well done, Ruth. <laughs> it's 
swept that up nicely. Yes, do you know? Yes. Uh, George Turner, yes. He's doing some good stuff. And Phil Smith as well. You should check out Phil Smith if you're going out to the races. He's really good. Yeah, no, I understand what you mean, Tony. Um, exactly. Hang on. I've got my phone is not on silent. How how amateur. It's amateur hour, everyone. Turn that to silent. I cannot be interrupted now. Um, yeah, definitely. I would be up for some of that because how are we going to uh, put across skills to the next generation? So I'm technically the next generation at the moment. Um, and I'm the next generation because I'm starting to learn how to build cars. I'm not a scratch build yet. I'm a kit builder at the moment, not a scratch builder. I think the difference is if you're a scratch builder, you're getting a load of brass, you're soldering it together and you're making it. As uh, a kit builder, the chassis is already formed. You're sort of adjusting it and building it to, um, it's quite an easy build. Well, I say that it's not, it depends on your skill set and your, in your, and your outlook on how you process things mentally as to whether it's easy or not. So I find the, the Penelope pit stop kits quite easy to build because they're already made. You've just got to assemble them. That's what I'm trying to do. Whereas with the, if you're scratch building with brass, you've actually got to pin them down. You've got to solder them. And then that, that's that's the, what I perceive as being the difference between kit building and scratch building. Uh, there is quite a difference. So yeah, Janu, absolutely. Janu's just commenting on the uh, image you can see on the screen here everyone which we've been looking at for a little while so i think um no no pat you can't have it both ways mate you can't you can't do this <laughs> you uh definitely can't do that because he's got i know what molotov he's got up his sleeve and uh we'll, we'll do it later <laughs> right then so let's crack on as we do, we always say hello to the Young Track fans. I've been dragging my heels, hoping that Albert would turn up, but he's not here, so he must be vacationing somewhere. Albert! Wealth, where are you? Um, right, we are half an hour deep into Sunday slot car sessions with me, Pete Brown. We're into the Young Track fans now. So, Albert, Wealth, good morning. Eleanor George, good morning. Leighton, Leo, good morning. Isabella Elliott, Sasha, good morning. Cameron, Ruben, Leo, Mia, Charlotte, um, Rowan. I think I got everyone. And Cameron, just in case, just for good measure, Cam. Come on, Cam, where you been? I'm looking forward to seeing you at the Slot Festival. I think you're coming of age now. You're getting a little bit, uh, maybe, I, maybe I'll go play football at the weekends or something. Well, keep your hand on the trigger. Don't let that sight go because you're an amazing racer. Grow up with a sport. Grow up with the girls. Keep the trigger on the, uh, keep the trigger in mind. All right, that's what I'm saying. Love it. <laughs> Run out of purple paint. Right. So now I hope. Yeah. Yes. So what have we got? Oh, look at this, everyone. I couldn't believe it when I thought I just thought I'll just double check this. We've been live streaming for a year, a year, everyone. We've been live streaming for amazing effort, everyone. Because if you see the car, the triplex, the Skelectric triplex Rover, the first project, this is how it all started, everyone. <clears throat> I did a live stream in January of last year with Travis. Uh, I'm a brother from a different mother, that slot car guy. And we were talking about the slot, uh, the Scale X Strict catalog launch for that year. Now, apart from what Greg, Greg Gab, Gabe was doing with his Zoom calls, the um, I can't think what his title of the show, I think it's the slot car world chat or something. Um, there wasn't really anything doing with live streaming or you know broadcasting for slot cars live streaming i think was quite a new feature for youtube back then so a lot of people dipping the toe in the water seeing what's going to happen and then all of a sudden within literally within weeks 
Um, you had uh, myself. I started this live stream, uh, which I'll talk about in a second. And we had Marty from Two Lines, a dear friend of mine in the show. Um, had my other brother from a different mother, my right arm wingman, uh, Rahul. He um, started his uh, live stream at the same time. Uh, well, a week a week between him and Marty. I can't never remember which way round it was, so I won't go into which was that. But there dawned the start of live streams. Now, I just uh, wanted to test out live streaming, as in how does the software work? What can I do with it? How does it, you know, because I'd had software for a couple of months from doing the st stream with Travis. Thanks, Tara. Most appreciated. Uh, doing that stream with Travis and I thought oh man I bought software and it's doing nothing it's sitting here for two months I paid for it it's about 40 quid's worth of waste so let's see how it works see if I can understand it because a bit like Rob Sale using technology <laughs> isn't easy it doesn't come easy these days so I just like a little bit of practice rehearsal feel good comfortable get on with it and I thought I'm working on this little project here that Mac Dustin slot car collector gave me as a as a project to work on it caught me off guard really he saw something there and so I so I you know I, I'll hit the live and I'll experiment around different camera angles different music different ticker tapes different colors see what happens uh different like layouts for the camera and stuff and uh, and all of a sudden there's Daz Hall and Aid and Rob and Kidder, and I thought, and Travis, because he was in Europe at the time, if you remember, and I'm like, guys, what are you doing? And they're like, what are you doing? This is excellent. So I was like, well, I'm just doing this car here, like, um, Matt give it to me as a project, so, you know, I'm kind of having a go on it, and they're like, yeah, I love it, we'll watch it, I'm having my porridge, and um, I said, look, I don't know if it's any good to you, but I'm building a doghouse from Magnetic Racing in the background. Do you want to see how that's coming along next week? Like, yeah. So I did it next week, and that's what we did, the doghouse. That lasted a couple of weeks, and then I can't remember what we did after that. There's been so much going on. I mean, while we're chatting, what are your highlights of the last year? I think for me, it's uh, it was the moment where Travis, the absolute closet, decided to get me busted at the UK Slot Car Festival with his friends, the cops. Um, that really did. That was epic. That was so good. I mean, I'm always up for banter. But when you pull off banter that in includes the fuzzy muff, uh, sorry, the police, the, the, uh, 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 the police. Mark, good morning, Mark. Mark Abbott might be in the room. And uh, <laughs> yeah, who poked it? You'll see. And um, yeah, so that was fun for me. What else was fun for me? Um, just so many good memories. So many good memories. Oh, co-hosting with Ruben. That was that was really good at Hornby and Daz. Me, Daz, uh, me, Ruben and Daz, we were co-hosting together. I love that. Uh, so actually, if you think about it, the things I actually loved the most were the interactions with other people. So the working with Ruben and Daz or the, the getting, you know, working and living with Trav for a week and getting busted and arrested and doing a tour, slot car tour around the country and stuff. That was awesome. And uh, but yeah, I mean, it has its downs as well, as Pat says here, you know, you meet all of these terrible people in the chat every week here, week in, week out, constantly commenting on slot cars just got nothing better to do other than to have fun in the chat. Hit the likes if you are having fun. It's great fun doing that. Um, so, yeah, we've been live for one year, everyone. Happy birthday to us. Because I wouldn't be here doing lives if you don't turn up every week. Now, I use my videos, my shorts, and um, as a communication tool for Albert. Nothing more, nothing less. And you might notice of, of late, I start saying track fans rather than Albert. And the reason for that is not because Albert's out and track fans are in. It's because Wilf's here now. And it's a bit of a mouthful going, Albert and Wilf. 
So I know I go track fans because it means both of them collectively and you guys. So I'm loving the. Uh, doing content still i absolutely love it i've got a short list i've got a pipeline coming through starting later with the gb slot rally from oxford leg video coming out 5 p.m today uk time uh, i'm not doing uh, any more premieres or up and comings or whatever they're called on my videos um because quite frankly i always miss them <laughs> <laughs> sorry excuse me and now I know you find that hard to believe, right? But I actually go, right, the premiere's at six o'clock. And then I'll turn, and it's a 12-minute video. And then I'll turn up at 10 minutes in. I just, I set three alarm clocks and I'm still miss them because of life. Life is getting in the way, which is fine. So now I'm just throwing the videos out there. They're going to pop up sometime. Boosh, there's a video. So no more uh, on those, no more premieres. Videos are coming, not thick and fast because I like quality, not quantity. But they're going to be some videos because I think I've counted up about eight, eight Dave slot R, including the the unboxing and review that you mentioned to put on the bottom of the list. How many projects did I have on that list that I sent you a picture of the other day, please, mate? I think it was eight. Um, but yeah, I've got a few videos coming forward. I've got some amazing shorts coming up as well. Talking of shorts. Have you been tuned into Rob Sale's shorts? He's killing it last week. Literally put five out, I think, in a, in a, like a day or two. Incredible. And considering he's got stuff going on with Sue, with work. Hi, Sue. How you doing? I believe that you and I are very similar in the context, right? Check this out. So if you've got kids and they're messing you around... Like, um, I'm putting face on the screen for this one. Because this is this is what you've got to do, right? If you're a dad, if you're a proactive, positive father that loves your kids and wants to guide them the right way, uh, obviously give them a slot car controller and a pit box straight away. That's the first lesson. But your second lesson is, if you want to play internet when mum and dad go to bed, you respect that mum and dad are, are bankrolling your whole existence and you keep noise down and let's get some rest. So I went upstairs the other day. You're going to love this. And he's having banter with his mates online with the door wide open. Yeah, 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 and laughing and shouting. I thought, you know what? I've asked him so many times. That's it. I'm taking action. Straight downstairs. Unplugged the router. Like, properly unplugged the router. Took the router to bed with me. Put it under my pillow. And I slept on it. So there. Show you that one. That's what you got to do if your kid is messing around, keeping you awake at night. Take the router away. Ah, yes. Ten videos. Starting later. Uh, I'm actually, uh, good news, the wood routed track. I'd lost the copper taping part of it and I'd lost the, the track lighting setup part of it. Good news. I found the track lighting part of it. Oh, I'm so happy with that. So I'm going to bring that to you. Uh, soon I'm editing it. It's a bit here and now. I might need to do a voiceover and a couple of little inserts bits. So yeah, anyway, we are live for one year now. Right. That brings me on to something important to talk about. To put my face back on since we've been on for live. Right. Do you remember Slot Forums? Uh, slot Forums. I've got a Slot Forum in my head. That's a great resource for Slot Cars, by the way. www.slotforum.something Um Remember chat forums in the early noughties, 2000, 2001, 2002, when MSN MySpace was there. Facebook, Facebook hadn't been invented yet. That's old for some of you younger guys. Uh, we had chat rooms. Remember those chat forums, chat rooms. And, you know, if you went to your nightclub, the nightclub had a chat room. So you could have chat to all the people that you were, you know, you got tanked up with and all that. Well, um, what happened to those, if you remember, is they come really popular. And then as soon as social media came, they got ditched. And do you remember why? And do you know why? Because social media, although it's not regulated, is regulated. Try putting a, a copyrighted song on YouTube. You'll see how quickly it's regulated. See, so it's regulated. OK, so we're quite happy for things to be regulated. Hence the amount of spanners I've got in the chat. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting all show to drop that one liner in there. Um, no, it's regulated and people feel more comfortable when 
you can chat knowing that you're not going to get trolled. You're not going to get upset. You're not going to be put in positions that you don't feel comfortable with. Um, so that's why chat forums died a death on their ass massively quickly because they were literally like the Wild West. After a year or two, it was great fun. And then after, sorry, it was great fun for a year or two. And then all of a sudden, they become sleazy. They become aggressive. They become real dark pools of just cess pit. And everyone, as soon as social media come, went, <clears throat> leave it alone. So whilst we don't have that here, because we've got some damn good policies, some no religion, some no politics, uh, with the original groundbreaking, con they were the ground founding constitution, okay, to speak American, to speak European, they were founding constitution, whatever you call them, rights or pointers, no religion, no politics. Now, what I want to do after a year, I don't want to turn this into school, you know, I don't, but I've got two more rules, and I think that for the success of and the protection of kids, namely my nephews, who are three and four, year, four years old this year and nine years old this year. We've got a whole rake of young track fans that you've just seen that watch this back. And however many extra that are silent viewers that watch it but don't contribute, I do want to start setting an example of how we can have fun in the right way. So I'm sorry to say I've got to put some rules in. Facebook put rules in, YouTube put rules in, Twitter didn't put rules in, that's why no one uses it, um, Instagram puts rules in, you know, so I need to just put a couple of rules in so that we understand where our lines and our boundaries and our barriers and our guidance and our whatevers are, so, you know, this is why I've done it, so here are the rules, you ready, okay, right, yeah, all in, Tea? Got a tea? Got a coffee? Upright. Here we go. Uh, the right button. Right. So there you go. Now, from the top, number one, no religion. That's the source of all poverty and suffering in the world and war. No politics because they're a bunch of. <clears throat> they're not that great. No 510 talk. No 510 talk. None. Um, okay, I'm going to swear. I'm absolutely fucking sick of it. So no more 510 talk, right? There you go. The only time we're talking 510 is when Slot It bring out a 510. Because that's going to... And then we're going to be... We're going to change this to be positive 510 talk. No comparisons. They're two different cars. You can't put a metal chassis in comparative to a plastic chassis. No 510 talk. And no innuendo. All right? None. I don't mind a double entendre here and there if it's in the right context. Yeah? Like a good uh, Toy Story film or a good Pixar film or a bit of Simpsons. They do it right. We can do it right. Okay? You can do it right. So, but blatant innuendo won't have it and that is why i've got a legion of spanners behind me to help me so there you go moving into year two if you want another year of live streaming and we're having fun and hanging out and we're growing the community and we're doing this and that and everything i want the kids to have a good time and i want them to be safe and i don't want dads or mums out there hi dads mums uh to have to try and explain what certain comments mean it's not fair on us so uh they're the rules if you don't like it you have rights if you say it's oh it's my right to speak free speak yeah it is your right and you do have rights you have the right to leave okay there you go you've got rights the right to leave exactly to quote the australian prime minister a few years back yeah you've got rights the right to leave off your pop. So what a genius. Oh. Anyway, so there you go. So there are my house rules for this year ahead. I hope you can get on board with them. I was going to make a sign, but I didn't have time. So there you have it.
Oh, yes. So, no. Time number four. No, you know, all I'm going to say is have a good time. You guys are clever enough, clever enough and ugly enough to, 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 to keep the banter on point where you need it to be. But just not slip into anything that's going to cause us some traction and some issues. So, um, you know, I just don't want the kids to have to ask what things mean. I don't want the kids to feel uh, they've got to take a side over slot cars. Like, you know, are you this side or are you that side? Well, look, guess what? The door's open to toy lovers and hobby lovers here. The door is open to slot car in people. No matter what your thing is, everyone loves slot cars. The common love of the, the whole show and the whole channel. Let's enjoy it. Let's not bring it down to personal opinion. There's a great thing that someone told me once. It's we can agree to disagree and let's go for a pint. Sound. Let's do that. Talking of pints, you can get one on Thursday night because here's a place where we can put out a little bit of a stronger opinion, everyone. Um, so Rahul and I will be running the show on Thursday. I mean, these guys come around so quickly. Last week, we were looking at the career, not last week, the week before, the last show, we were breaking down the Carrera digital setup. Now, I have never used Carrera, well, I have used Carrera digital at Mercedes-Benz World, that's a lie, but I've not had one, I've not had an extended go, and a lot of the people in this chat room, they, <laughs> sorry, hang on, Richie, out! <laughs> oh, brilliant. No, Richie, what we do in the WhatsApp group, no problem. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Yeah, you are, Paul. You are definitely on them. So, number three. Okay, number three. <laughs> so, we'll be fine. You'll get in the flow of it. It's, it's just for year two, uh, you know. Enhanced, enhanced, you know, requests. It's just requests from me. It's not, it's nothing sinister. But anyway, yeah, catch up with us on Thursday. Now, if you're in the UK, it's at half eight, right? Because the Canadian clocks went back a couple of weeks ago. And uh, so we're rolling, uh, we're keeping the, the Canadian time anchored and we're just flexing the UK time. Uh, because actually that works for me. It's a little bit earlier and I need my rest. I need my beauty sleep. Although this Thursday I will have had a half a day's holiday. Sick. And uh, I'll be fresh, ready to go. Awesome. So tune in. We're going to give you a live, raw, uncut opinion. I'm going to be reviewing the Skelectric Arc Pro digital setup for, for this episode. Uh, we're going to be having a look at what cars come out in the last fortnight. There are plenty. Uh, we're going to be doing some traffic lights, what we thought was hot, what we thought was not. And if uh, Rahul dares bring up a red light for my rules, I'll be having him. Um, but that's it. It's his opinion. If he thinks that me putting house rules down is going to crimp the wings of the creative flow of the chat, then that he can say that. He can say, and I won't take offence to that. Do you know why? Because that's just his opinion. Now, I respect it, and I'm going to do what I want, but he's got an opinion on it, and we should enjoy listening to someone's opinion, knowing that yours is different, mine is different, my mother's is definitely different. So, yeah, tune in if you want to see a bit of raw opinion of what we think have been good, have been bad, have been on the fence. So that's going on half eight UK time, 4.30 Eastern. See you there, guys. Another chat show, uh, another session to chat in um don't panic i will tell you in advance there will be no 510 talk in that show either none at all none whatsoever rahul has had his utter fill of it and uh, i'm just bored of it i ain't got one so i can't even get involved in the chat because i ain't got one to chat about and i didn't even win the competition at die he's dear uh, sasha's sasha did a competition um DNA slots, Sasha and the dad, who she ropes in now and again to help her out with the show and the editing and that. Uh, they run a competition on Friday night. 
auctioned out, competitioned out at Datsun 510. There you go. I didn't even win it, so I still can't talk about it. Um, yeah, so none of that business. That's done now. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, everyone. Let's have a big round of applause right at the back. I can see you're not clapping. Uh, Robert Swift Slots, mate, he is here. He's smashing it. He is smashing it. And yeah, absolutely. I think um, I think you're right. I think you are right, De Fingers. Um, we would be boring if we shared the same opinion. You can have this. You can have a different opinion on all sorts of stuff. Uh, my, uh, and and that's cool. I, I welcome it because we definitely have different opinions on certain things. I did. I did. It was more reassurance for people that are getting tired of it now. Um, that they can come to shenanigans on Thursday and there will be none of that jazz. Yes, I know. It's reassurance. It's reassurance. So there. Oh, Rob's got a week off. And... Uh, yeah, go on. Get me in time out. We'll all have a five-minute break. We'll all make cups of teas and coffees. Love it. Um, so, um, Rob has done it. I never, never, never doubted him in a second. I completely missed it. Like a spanner myself, I completely and utterly missed it. He did it two weeks ago. And I'm so sorry, Rob, but I missed this. Uh, but like I said... I'm not getting notifications. It's driving me wild. Uh, you can see it in his feed here that it's a couple of videos old. Um, he's doing great stuff and I'm really, really proud of him because he's been picked up by a couple of uh, sponsors. So you've got uh, the German guys who are sent him a massive box of stuff so that he can build and tune and do lots and lots of tutorial videos with his parts. And also, Pendle Slot have got involved with him. So they've sent him some stuff to start to put together and build and, you know, um, promote the fact that they sell those bits that he's using in his videos. That's what it's about. I am so proud of you, Rob, for getting to 1,000 subscribers because you've done it in record time. You started the channel, I think, just after Gaiden or just before Gaiden last May. And you're here. You broke a K. And people love it. You know, this is why I'm behind because I want, I need to sit down and watch it and watch what you're doing so I can learn from it and apply it myself. But yeah, if anyone's unfamiliar with Rob at Swift Slots, get over there. And, um, and just, you know, Rob is not only a YouTuber, but he's an inventor as well. So he's actually invented... The Swift 16 tire truer. And if you want to see how this works, I did do a video on this. So you can go back, you know, to last year and uh, and check it out. It is really, really useful. So he sells them on swift16.co.uk, everyone. And if you want to chat to him about how it works first, that's really good. He also does a wealth of other stuff on there for any of you racers out there. And I'm going to hold this with two hands. Uh, he does tuning plates, metal tuning plates, as you can see with uh, the magnets on there that you would use if you're a racer to flatten a chassis. So your first port of call when you get a car is you take it if you're a racer. If you're a racer and you bought a car that's specific for racing, not an out-of-the-box Skelectric or a Carrera, you expect those to work. Just get yourself a slot it. Definitely uh, one of them or an NSR or a Thunder slot or something. You know, like a racy brand. You get it out of the box. You take it all to bits. You put the chassis on the plate, that plate, magnet it, and flatten it. And then you build it up from there to your spec. So um, he does those he does those plates if you need one. So swift16.co.uk. If you don't need one, happy days. Check out his channel because he's doing all sorts of stuff on there from 
spray jobs to hot hot rods to uh as you can see here um free well you can't see it under my face let me move my boat race out of the way as it's working there you go so his latest video there gripping subject how to make a car body holder for free love it there you go don't buy one get one for free thank you ever so much dave i appreciate that mate ah oh, good i'm so pleased i'm not pleased obviously that you missed it but i'm so pleased that it's not just me missing this uh missing the notifications it's not fair i'm gonna have to get a list and go surfing so well done rob let's have a round of applause for rob at the back right on the hour mark everyone it's pete from sunday slot car sessions if you're just tuning in uh welcome aboard the madhouse we're having good fun we're steaming ahead we've got we are just getting through the first parts of the show and it's an hour in excellent work everyone all right track focus my my personal favorite part of the show other than obviously sharing the news about what my friends and relatives are doing thank you ever so much uh slot speed for getting in there and supporting robert swift slots his channel is really good mate i definitely would and Janu here is just mentioning for, to anyone here, didn't really realise. Um, but uh, one of our regular viewers and good friend, Reese shattered his arm. Oh, that's going to hurt. So wishing you a speedy recovery, friend. Lionel's in. Good morning. Yeah, that's it. That is it. That's all you can do, Lionel, is... Just have fun with them. Don't try and force the issue with them because if they get a bit older, they'll remember the fun bits. But if you try to force it with them, they'll just be like, that's dad's hobby. Yeah, there was nothing there for me. And he just kept on about it. Whereas if you let them sort of fire that curiosity, you know, my, mo uh, my mother-in-law used to be a demon uh, with my brother-in-law because he was, he had an insatiable curiosity. He just couldn't, he just needed to know all the time. Funnily enough, he's become a lawyer. And um, what she'd do is she'd go up the shop on a Sunday morning. She'd come back. She'd, put, she'd buy a paper. She'd put the paper on the side and open it on a page and then just leave it there. Because she knew that he'd come down from sleep, for a wake up, come down, see the paper, have a look at it, like get sucked into the headline or the article, sit down and then read the paper from front to back. Uh, she was a very clever woman. She was a headmistress. Okay, so we are talking tyres in the chat. I love it. Brilliant. Oh, excellent statistics. Thank you ever so much, guys. I really appreciate it. 31 uh, shows of appreciation. So Pat's just saying he chooses time when he gets a new car and seems to be fine. Yeah, definitely. Ah, oh, Janu, this sounds interesting. So YouTube might have changed existing notifications from all to personalized. Ah, uh, okay. So yeah, I'll have a look at that and see how that works later because I don't know. I don't know how this computer stuff works. And um, Dave, did you ever do a video on tyres yet? Or is that one to come? I think, Dave, because if you were to do a video on tyres, preferably before uh, anyone else, because you speak my language, in it, I can... Uh, that would be handy, because... Rahul talks tires, George talks tires, Area 51, Dave at Shotgun, uh, Shotgun Dave talks tires, Harry, HRW talks tires, Marty, Two Lines talks tires. But the common denominator is they're all over the pond and we're not. So if someone over here can talk tires, preferably what kind of tires we can buy at the UK shop like Pendle or the European shop like Slot Car Union so that we can buy tyres with cheap postage, that would be really useful to me. Not Well, sorry, selfish. Yeah, it would be useful. That would be really useful to us. Sorry, I was being really selfish then. 
because I, I as much as I go to club every other week, I'm like, what tyres are you using? Oh, yeah, uh, these ones. And what are they like? Oh, they're terrible. So everyone's using tyres that they think are utter garbage. So I'm kind of confused. And I can't get unconfused. And then, of, of, okay, I understand that you're going to buy tyres, you're going to need to maintain them uh, or prepare them. So I'm actually in the process now. Look, see, I've got my Zach Speed. I'm a little sideways still got a sticker on it from racing there you go raced up and so there you go so you can see here it's greasy because i'm preparing the tires hey look see literally nice and oily with some oil to get them softer so i appreciate you're going to have to do some maintenance but where's a good starting point on tires if i knew enough i'd do uh i'd do a video on it but i don't so i know that you're into watching a load of these uh, americans uh tuning videos dave so it'd actually be really helpful uh if you had something that you could uh advise us on mate thank you Yes, and it's a Capri as well. Timely. Brilliant. Aha! Eurofanes went on a Capri and an update, a part 2.0 is coming through. Hey, Dave, we're a little bit like authors. You know, like um, you see um, an author writes a book and then 20 years later, they rewrite some of it just, I think, to be current or to chop little bits of it out that will get you cancelled. You're a bit like that. You, we're, we're both coming around to so like some of my tutorial top tips. I'm actually coming around to start to remake in a more modern way because we've got we've got different technologies. We've got different products. We've got different uh, methods. Uh, we've got different tracks and, and requirements. So actually it makes sense. So I can't wait to see that. Obviously I don't get any notifications. So I will literally, I will literally be tuning into that with, with bated breath to watch that. Uh, okay. Hang on a second, Paul. What's this? Uh, the tires on the Skelex trick are bad. So I'm just having a quick catch up with the comments, guys. Although we stick to the original tyres, Renaissance. Yeah, they are. They are great tyres on the Thunder slot, which is this one. It'd be help if you could see me, wouldn't it? So the Thunder slot, this one. This is the Lola T70. Absolutely stunning bit of car. You can't use it competitively officially because it's too wide. Well done, Thunderslot. Uh, but these tyres, they actually came with it. They came with it. I've had this car two years. And they were soft and usable when I got it. Now they're really soft and really quick. And I love it. It's one of my favourite cars to drive because it just... Ha I'm only going to have a go later. It just drives like a dream, honestly. Oh, my good Lord. Ted, how are you still awake, mate? Unbelievable. Yeah. And do, do you know what? I think you're right, mate. I think you're right. I think this... Uh, the BMW... That we got from the Margate Jolly, Jolly Outing... This runs really well, really, really well out of the box. No more, as you can see where I've been running it, where the light patches, I haven't even trued or glued the wheels. Like they're literally on. So, and it was fun. It's good. I mean, I have got a poly car track, so I have an element of grip. 
and we will do comparatives of tracks soon. Um, all right, Dave, make that number 11. Because <laughs> I've got a Carrera, I've got a Polycar, and I've got a Skelectric, and I've got a wood track. So I can really do a comparative. All right, anyway, enough of tyre talk. We'll come back to that in a bit, maybe. But this is a good track. Keep it going in the chat on the tyres. Because I do want to come back and learn a little bit rather than trying to absorb it and take it in now whilst I'm running the show. Um, later at 5 p.m. today, UK time, GB, GB, GMT, uh, Greenwich Mean Time, for those who don't know. Uh, we've got the rally race coverage. Now, I did try to bring this live from the event, but the Wi-Fi, which I've ranted over long enough and hard enough, not going there again, was shocking. So I actually, I've done a video on it. It's not a long one. So I don't know, 12 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that. Who knows? But it just gives you a little walk around the tables, a bit closer detail. Uh, see a couple of the cars going around and, and things. Get a feel for what rally racing is about. Really liked it. It just wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting like going to, I don't know, a Disca, a digital GT3 kind of event. And uh, yeah, no, that, that nice BMW A8. Um, a Disca event where everything is uber tuned. I mean, it's like four months to, to build the car and you've got like cutting edge, lightweight LED fiber optic lighting system in there. You've got suspension. You've got some kind of retune, repurposed motor, it, you know, a spray job to die for. It's took months. Um and I thought that's what it might be like, but I was so wrong. So I've turned up to that GB race and it's like, oh, yeah, just, you know, got these cars. Well, obviously, they've worked on their cars. <laughs> don't, don't let me take that away from them. But there's not much that you can prepare for in the Rally GB because the tracks are so undulating. They're so fun. They're, they're so different. One is a wood track. The next you're on a bumpy Ninko track, as you'll see. I won't spoil the... Let's call it the three seasons. You're doing that. And then um, you're, you're on to an Inco. And then you're on to a wood routed. And then, so you can't really prepare your cars like you would for a Wales and West for a plastic track or a, a, a plastic leg track. Or you wouldn't practice it for Rockingham, which is wood. You can't do that. You have to sort of make a general all rounder. And then, of course, there's different classes that you can enter. It was my first event, so I entered the... Um, don't actually know what class I entered now. Oh, that's bad, isn't it? I just turned up to have fun. That's my knowledge of slot cars. I'm just there. It's fun. And that's it. Um, so I borrowed a car of Sean. Thanks, Sean. He doesn't watch. He says he doesn't watch this, but he does really. He's a closet watcher. And uh, it went really well. If I had four cars, I reckon I might have done higher in the leadership board. But I didn't. I had one to test the water and it was really good. So if you want to see what happened and some other uh, stuff on the video, tune in later. It's coming out at five o'clock today. You'll see it pop up or pop back later and see. And if you're thinking of if you're watching this and you're wondering, if you're watching this back after we're finished, and you're wondering, where's the live chat you keep going on about? It takes 24 hours for the live stream to show on the video. So you'll, you have to come back. If you want to be a part of the comments and see what was said and have a laugh, come back in 24 hours and they'll be there if you're watching this back. Excellent. So what are we looking at here then? Yeah, that's right, Pat. Scuff, uh, scuff and run, harden. Hard go SCD, definitely. 4 a.m., my God. It's light. I know it's getting light now. The milkman's going to come round and fall off his milk, milk wagon when you go, yeah, I'll take it off you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Aid, we've all got that. We've got those cars. Defo, it's, uh, it's a market thing. And thanks, Dave. So magnets hide the, the sins of tyres. They do. They do. But... It's a Skelectric car, and I'm not taking a magnet out. Why? Because I want it in there. It's fun. I've got some that I run magless, some that I run with a mag. <clears throat> and uh, and, I, and I'm quite, you know what? I went through a phase of it having to be magnus, mag, magless, 
no magnets basically and then do you know what when i bought when i got the um the pink amg which uh ruben is borrowed at the moment so ruben is using the pink amg from skelectric and i've obviously got the batmobile and i've got the m3 i nearly said m30 then shocker so i got that they're all going to stay mag they're going to stay magnets because when i what i realized is even though i turn the voltage down when uh wolf comes to play having a magnet gives him a better time and incidentally if he's having a good time so are we me and vince so yeah Tune in at five today for a bit of rally racing. Now, here we go. Track time. Uh, Roger, here he is. He sent us some images. They're a little bit blurry, I must admit. But don't worry about that. You can make out the epicness of Roger's track. And that's what we're looking at. So he's got a polycar track. We are polycar track brothers. Well done. Polycar track is good. Really good. So that is his track. Two lanes, huge, huge space, massive space. Now, I was looking at the door on the left thinking, he's opened the door, built the track, and now he can't get out. Or, or is he actually, that's how you get in. It's already open. But no, check this out. He's got a big raised section at the back which you can actually see here. So look on the left, you've got the before shot, just to put this track into perspective. That was the before shot when he had the figure of eight, two lane analog polycar track. Then he bought an upgrade. Wow. Oh no, I know you're not knocking magnets, uh, Dave, not at all uh no definitely not so that's what i was saying i have fun with both of them uh it wasn't taken in that context mate not at all uh, i was just sort of talking about like the fact that i'm leaving them in some i'm taking them out of others because if you get a car you take it up to uh rockingham slot car club magnet's not going to make a blind bit of difference because it's wood so it's not magnetic Yeah, um, because it's toys for kids, does. That's it. They put the magnets in so the kids can drive without realising the car's bumping around all over the track. If you watch... No, I'm not doing it. We can't talk about it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so you've got... Uh, it just holds it down, pins it on a bit. Nice. Harry's like, uh, love this description. His Skelectric F1 cars without magnets are like bold tyres on sheet ice. Terrible. Exactly. But that's what we talk, That's what Dave at Slotar's talking about. With the magnets, it hides those uh, sins. And you've got to remember, like people like Lionel and George, who are in the chat, uh, father and son duo, they're buying a car. Well, I sent them a car, didn't I? They won the competition. They won the... Uh, Mr. Bean, Super, the Robin Reliant, Super Villain, that's it. They run the Super Villain van, the three-wheeler, the blue three-wheeler, my fastest car out of that crop. They won that. They're not bothered about true in tyres. They, they don't even know what true in tyres means. They're in that mindset where I was four years ago when I only thought it was Skelectric. I didn't even know the word slot car let alone all these other fabulous brands and this wonderful process that you can do to make the car run better called tuning. I just didn't know. So, yeah, definitely. What? Slot Speed's off for his breakfast, everyone. Have a good one, buddy. I know. Check that out. The uh, the BRZ drift cars in the, the BRZ drz drz or B yeah drz i don't know someone correct me is it brz or drz drift cars from polycar 
they are low cost. They're they're like literally stock. Dave says here, twenty two bucks, twenty two quid each, and you get them in multitude of colours. And I like it because they're plain, so you can put some stickers on there, and it's your race car. Happy days. Yes, Pat, we do. We love it. We do love a lovely little bit of slot car in, like Roger Loft's uh, track here from the other end, so we can see it from all angles. Look at that beauty. He is already having fun. He needs a few more borders and a couple of barriers. Um, but that's coming along nice. That's going to take a bit of time to... To decorate up and stuff. I'm not sure if you're going down that route, Roger, or if you're just going to keep it as a speedway almost, a minimalistic speedway. But do keep us appraised of what you are doing with that track. Hold on. Dating what header? Oh, I haven't got the oh, I have got the date wrong, haven't I? Oh, genius! I'll change it after. Well done, Paul. It was because it was late, and I was making the show looking at the twenty third, which was yesterday. I know, I know, I know. It's unrelated. I know it's not car. It's not car. <laughs> it's not car. I know it's not slot car related, but. We are, and many of us, I'd say probably 80% of, of us in the room are children of the 80s and 70s and 80s and 90s. Uh, but if you're of a vintage where you were born in the 60s or 70s, grew up in the 70s or 80s, then you'll well remember the film with Patrick Swayze called Roadhouse. Yeah, awesome film. They've just literally on Amazon launched a remake. Now, I... Uh, 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 being a massive Patrick Swayze fan. I told you it was off subject for a second, but this is the randomness of the show, all right? I watched it yesterday, and it's all right. I mean, you've got some big shoes to fill trying to take on Roadhouse. It would almost be like trying to remake Dirty Dancing or Con Air or something iconic like that or um, Saving Private Ryan, you know. Uh, that's wrong, actually. Not Saving Private Ryan, because that actually happened. So, a, a, a non-fiction film. Um, they've done a good job. They haven't copied it. They've put accents and nods of appreciation in there to the old film. Brilliant. Prime video. Go and get it before they start charging for it. Anyway, back on task. Tracks. Yes, please. Uh, so, just catch up before we move on to the next track. Yeah, okay, so what we've got. Yeah, well, we've got a comment here from Ted. He's right, yeah. So, mags are there for downforce, correct? That's absolutely right. Uh, downforce and stickability. <laughs> Uh, because some of the cars are really sticky compared to others. So if you've had one of the club cars, if you've had one of these, I'll show you this. If you've had one of these in your life from Skelectric, these have got mega, mega magnets in them. Like, it's almost like They've used a different magnet than they have in the Blue, Blues Brothers car. Unbelievable. Live telly. Uh, so, yeah, I think there is an element to what magnet to the downfall. Someone's going to tell me it's the same magnet in all the cars now, and I'm going to stand corrected. But it feels like there are different strength of magnets in different cars, which is what Ted's referring to here. It adds to the ground for down force. If you're racing, if you've got a racing inclined mind, then by lowering the car as low as you can get it within the legal ride height limitations, which I think is 1.2 mil across the board, uh, 1.2 or 2 mil. I've got a two in there somewhere. If you uh, get the car low to the ground, the 
motor, the magnetization within the motor adds downforce and helps you stick a little bit to the rail. Nowhere near as powerful as a magnet, but it does give you that residual downforce as well. So different cars, different performances, really interesting. Uh, racing and tuning is a rabbit hole that you can go right into. Um, and do please go into it at your own time because we would never cover it all here. Oh, Dick, good morning. How you doing, mate? Watch it tomorrow, buddy. And um, you'll catch up with a chat and excellent. Ah, oh, BR said, there you go. Yeah, BRZs are good. I wanted one. They do like a really nice aqua turquoise colour one. Very nice. <laughs> well done, Tara. Just bringing him, bringing him round, alerting him to uh, year two. Dick, it was the birthday. We've been streaming for a year, buddy. I oh, know. Oh, there you go. That's what I like about um, Aid. Aid and Ted are staunch. They love their Skeletric. I remember the podcast with Ted, uh, with Slot Car Daddy, who's Ted, and Delion, Rob, the last one, part three. And they're talking about something, and uh, Ted's like, oh, that won't make a blind bit of difference to me. I love uh, Skeletric. I'm getting Skeletric. That works for me. Don't need anything else. Bit like Rahul. Rawls just made an informed decision. Nah, I'm done with all of this. I'm just doing Carrera. I get a Carrera Digital. I get it out. Bang, I'm running it. And that works for him. You know, different things for different people. So, yeah, well done, Aid. <clears throat> no, that's right. That's right. To be honest with you, uh, though, Pat, right, one of the things to think about with this tuning business is I can actually tune a car and then race it and then come back the next day and race it again and get a completely different outcome. Because whilst you can take a couple of hundred seconds off your time, if your mood is different, you will add a couple of hundred seconds. See? So it's all dependent. There's many factors to racing. Yeah, Roger will need a wider table, Daz. Well done. Isn't that a long, fast straight? So a lot of kudos coming in for you, mate, here. Uh, Roger, a lot of people saying uh, they're loving this track. And uh, they want, they want. Uh, Dick, we'll come back to it at the end. We'll probably, do, well, let's do a refresher for Dick at the end. Um, basically, Dick, what I've done is we were talking about, I'm not going to get it. Just watch it back, mate. Just watch it back. It was quite a lengthy bit about why I've done what I've done. And, 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 and uh, I really appreciate you guys being on board with it as well. And, you know, I've just mentioned that everyone in the room, everyone who watches the channel has rights. So, you know, you've got rights. Everyone has rights. I've got rights. You've got rights. Two rights don't make a wrong. Um, so, yeah, and then apparently I broke the first, on the very next slide, I broke rule three. But it was to give people comfort that they can come to a, a later program and not get what rule three is all about. In fact, that's what it's going to be called now, isn't it? No rule three talk. <laughs> I know, I know. And he was um, getting some nice kudos here, guys. So... Everyone is on board with that one, Roger, mate. You've done an absolute proper good track there. And Roger, uh, Daz was saying about when it was six lane track. That's how he's managed to get so much track because it was six lanes. BRZ, thank you. Okay, DG, go back about 25 minutes. All right, here we go. Here's Roger, everyone. He wasn't. He wants to expand the table enough to use the rest of his track pieces before he does the scenery. Uh, have you got any space, mate? You got literally. Any, oh, you're going to come out sideways. 
possibly just trying to think where where you could expand it to where maybe out the side yes ted it, it come out a couple of days ago mate i watched it it's got uh what's his name conor mcgregor in it brilliant i'd kick his ass in the computer game in the computer game i'll kick it the last thing i need is him is him turning up here on the doorstep Do you know, do you know, what, um, what tyres do you use, mate? Oh, nice, Dick. Dick's had some good scaly tyres. A bit of light sanding and he's away. And, um, no, you're all right. I wouldn't sprain my wrist. I nearly broke my laptop with a bo where the box exploded, though. Uh, I'm not on board. I've not got to these brushless motors yet, everyone. Um, I know that someone who Travis has inspired to do a channel recently uh, had done a three minute video on chatting about it, but I don't know what it means. I don't know what it means. And don't, let's not get into armatures again. I remember this the last time. I put this out last August or July, so I don't know what, what brushless means. And there was a whole debate on it in the chat. And, uh, and I still don't know what it means. So it's more about like memory retention rather than the, the uh, ability to explain what it means to me. It's definitely me memory retention. Okay, so he's... How do you cut a Skeletric magnet in half? Like it's a chunk of small metal. How did you do that? I mean, I'm all ears. Yep. Couldn't have said it any better myself. Pat, many a fine word spoken there. And seconded by Rob in the chat. Right, let's have a look. Uh, different stroke for different folks. Never fitted an aftermarket tyre to my slot car yet. Brilliant. Okay, so Dave is uh, just mentioning that tuning is not all about getting a speed. So let's watch what he does on his next video. And I can't wait to see this. I, I, this is for his iRock. See, I do listen to what you tell me, Dave. This is for his iRock uh, series. And I'm quite interested to see what he does here. This is, this is of high interest. Right, Vernon, take it easy, mate. Thanks for hanging out with us. I really appreciate it, buddy. A rule of thirds. I'm going to get you, yeah, I will get you something special, I'll make it. Uh, how long is the straight, please, Roger? Is someone, there's someone, uh, okay, look, right. Okay, I'll take it off the screen. Great question. Great question. What are the trying hazards of urethane tiles? Fumes or dust? Okay. Interesting. So I'll leave that up a second. Because I know that. That'd be interesting to know while we move into the next track. Here we go. Oof. And like an utter genius, I... Have lost the guy's name. Brilliant, Pete. You got one job to report some tracks, and you can't even do that. I'll just pop that up there a second. Cheers, uh, Rob. So dick just to uh just to reiterate there's no innuendo i don't mind the dub the occasional double entendre as long as it's done with taste so you know like you would see in a pixar movie like a toy story or an incredibles or a 
Shrek. Um, you know, like uh, something that is will bypass a five-year-old's head. Let's just put it like that. So let's put it down as a challenge to keep it clean. So there you go, mate. That is an interesting layout. So what I've done is I've looked at it. I'm really sorry. If the person who's track this belongs to is watching, I'm so sorry I didn't write your name on here. If you want to reach out to me and get in touch and let me know who you are, or if you know the person whose track this is, then do let me know because I would like to give them a shout out for the effort they put into this track. So if you have a look here, you've got uh, an each end, a look from each end. And it's not straight. It's not straight at all, like right into the corners. On the left at the far end where the uh, orange aut autumnal trees are, you've kind of got the kinks coming in. You've got borders. You've got different color borders. There is, when you stop and look at this track for more than a couple of minutes, you start to see the detail in it. For instance, he actually has a magnetic racing double Dunlop Bridge right there with a red section on the top. He's not been boring. He's, he's well, they've not been boring. They've rinsed it up a bit. They're having a look. Um, you've got some other items of scenery on there. I think this could be one to watch. I really do hope. I don't know whether it's on the floor because of the size of the room. If it was on the table, it'd be hard to get round it but i do think if you're able whoever this is to get this onto a tabletop it will make it will be a game changer it'll be up utterly genius um because you can get loads of slot cars stored up in the back and everything No, listen, Tara, well, uh, I think the Spanners have done what I've done. They've noticed that Dick's coming a bit late. So we've given him some grace um, because he wasn't here through the whole spiel of me chatting about the reasons of the rules. So, yeah, go, Dick, just watch them back, mate. You, you can still have it. You can still have fun in your unique way. Um, but it's got to be a little bit more, um, a little bit more off the radar. So still on the banter, but a bit more creatively discreet. There you go. And, uh, it's all good. I'm the same as Harry. I like a straight on a track. I like a decent straight or if you haven't got the space for a long straight, then at least two or three curves so that you can really get nearly knock my coffee over. You can really get the momentum of the, the power going through the corner and everything. So fantastic. I oh, know it's definitely on the floor, but I feel like it needs to be uh, raised up, buddy. You'll be fine. You can get on top of this. It's going to be good. Right, here we go. Darren Taylor. Yes, track fan. He emailed me his track. Brilliant. I love this. If you've done some work on your track, if it's ever been on the show or it's never been on the show and you've been working on your track and you want to share it or get some feedback and opinion, do come, uh, do come on and... Uh, email or whatsapp me you can find it uh everywhere uh, i'm everywhere it seems at the moment but dick also not only the wednesday chat but you've also got the slot car shenanigans which is on at 8 30 in the afternoon so it's the later show to be a little bit more creative in so what's that going to be like half seven half eight your time uh, am so there's an option for you mate that'll be good fun so Darren Taylor, very nice track indeed. It's Carrera. It's fast. 
it's got these kind of funky metal framework things going on, which is holding, supporting the whole track. And he's in position now. We can start to see some scenery. We can get some scenery in there, I reckon. So... Do keep us posted, Darren, if you're watching this, on uh, on your development, because your track is good. Really quick track. So, And a couple of guys in the chat are already sort of... Dick, it's never too early, my friend. So you've got some... Um, some people saying, yeah, it's Carrera, Dick. Yeah, absolutely. You've got some people liking this track. In fact, pretty much everyone's enjoying this track. You've got Harry, you've got Rob, you've got Pat. Slotar's saying it's a great track. Yeah, did you see that gradual bump? Uh, sorry, a nice gradual arc hump on a long straight. Yeah, because you go airborne. The Fingers, nice track. Paul, nice track. Uh, Janu's talking about wood-rooted tracks. So that's cool. He's a member of North Staff Slot Cars. Uh, oh, Dick didn't know that Carrera did squeeze sections. Interesting. Hairpin section, nice. That is a nice looking track. Yeah, that's right, Roger. So this is what I said to uh, my brother-in-law last night. He come round and we were having a race and we we're having fun, uh, putting in a few laps, checking out this new feature that I found on the slot it <clears throat> SCP2 controller. So I just grab one. He says. Here we go. So if you've got one of these in your life. Yeah, Roger, I don't know what controllers you're using. But if you've got one of these in your life, a slotted SCP-2 hand controller. Very clever bit of kit. So I got uh, last night, my brother-in-law, who I said it was the reader. You know, I said earlier, you'd leave the paper open and read it. <clears throat> He was looking for some information. I can't remember what was trying to, he was looking for. But he stumbled over this thing <laughs> where you press the buttons in sequence and hold the trigger. And then you use the whatever knob it is on the controller. It acts like a ghost car. So now my polycar track analog, I can, using one of these controllers, I can run a ghost car while I'm racing. So I'm so stoked because I got a race car coming in. So that's good. So if you want to know how to do that, Roger, if you've got that, one of those controllers, I'll, I'll, I'll show you later. It's really easy. Okay, next track, next track. Let's steam on. Wow. I don't know whether this is Sai or Kai. I don't know. So forgive me. Let's call him Mr. Bruno. Now, Mr. Bruno, I found this last night by accident. It's HO track. Now, what he's done is he's obviously retired. He's got a room that is bigger than my floor, than my house's floor plan. This, and then, then now, now I'm going to not apologize for this. There's four slides, and the Lancey is Donna Burton. There are four slides on this because, and I, and I could have easily done 10. Oh, hey, do you off? See you later, mate. Take care. I'll best wrap up then if the F1's on. I'm joking. You can watch that on your telly. Watch this on your phone or watch the F1 on your phone and watch this on the telly. Um, Mr. Bruno has, uh, has, 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 has done some epic work in his room. That's all I'm going to say. So first off, you've got, yeah, that controller, this controller, Mark, is analog. No, you can use it for digital as well. But you can use it for digital. Most people do. Uh, I use it for analog because I don't have digital. Oh, I know. I know. And 10 slides is in even half of it. I can't believe, Dave, I've not seen this to date. 
Oh, the fingers. Sit, sit to hold on to the ride. So he's got a Ferris wheel. Let's get to the next slide. Look at the detail this guy is doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten. I'm counting 18 pit garages. 18. Look at it. And then you've got the grandstands behind it. Then you've got train tracks behind that, the whole train setup. Then you've got road behind that and another road behind that. The thing, this. Yeah, trains everywhere. Oh, Pat, this is like retirement on steroids this is completely look at this it's got like a boatyard going on and everything i wonder if i can zoom in on this no i can't uh well that's a shame um but look a whole train depot ready to go out we literally started this view at the other end of his track up past the other end, past the Ferris wheel. I don't know what he does. Yeah, Rob, yeah. Imagine that. Um, yeah, I'm going to put that up on the screen, Rob. I think that is a good shout. And Tony, yeah, you, you build stuff for a living, so you understand what's gone into this. What has gone into this? <sighs> Effort, time. I wouldn't say blood, sweat and tears because it looks like a labour of love. <laughs> you are going to get your steps up Marshall in this one aren't you yeah oh this has got to be up there for layout of the year so I don't know who's monitoring these tracks or anything like that it's got to be fluid because there's always stuff coming and going and then I've got a close up a full track parts of the track that is, is illustrated that I really liked for different reasons so I'm going to be sharing these with you now so we're starting the bottom left because I have yeah there you go I really like it I'm kind of into bridges at the moment in a nerdy way I don't know I just think that it's weird like how they can just like go from one side to another and not fall in uh, he's got it going on right on the dockyard. So you can see the freight train coming over. It's going to come round. It's going to get craned onto the boat. The whole thing is just a storytelling masterpiece. Really good. I love the... If you see the top right-hand picture, where it's got another bridge, funnily enough, uh, the, the, um, the architecture of the building with the lights on reminds me very, very much of a certain style of architecture that a good friend up in Birmingham, Glenn Howell, he does that style of building through his buildings. Uh, he's really done well for himself. Glenn Howell's Architects, he used to be called. Then it was called GHA. And now it's called um, Howell's because he's going to retire soon. Lucky beggar. He has made his money. And uh, yeah, just it reminds me of some of his buildings because Architects have accents they have styles a bit like people who scratch build or spray cars they have style so shotgun dave's style is going to be slightly different from slot R dave's or slightly different from george's or slightly definitely different from mine um and you have your own signature that's what i'm looking for your own signature sort of style so i really like this bruno mr bruno sai kai Thank you ever so much for what you've done on these tracks. Because this is just genius. I like it. Build a bridge and get over it. Yes. And Roger. Yeah. One day when we grow up, we might be this clever. Okay. Oh. Fake slide. How did that get in there? <clears throat> Let's uh, see. Look, Roger, you're famous again. 
Okay, right. So track focus. That was brilliant. Absolutely digged seeing those tracks. That was cool. Uh, what we got coming on now? Some other stuff is coming up. And then we've got about 10 minutes left in the show. Wow, we've done two hours. Brilliant. Boom for a Sunday. Here we go. Right, other stuff. Uh, yeah, there's some new wheels out. Uh, we've got four spokes and six spokes. Really love the six spokes. It's like mags, isn't it? Mag wheels, they're going to be great for rally. Going to be great for street car like DTM or something. Um, going to get, actually, I've got some five spokes on this one. These are some Snaf's five spokes right here. So you can see how good they look on a street car, a DTM, Audi A5, beautiful, uh, SCX, that one. So it really makes a difference, a nice set of trims. Uh, so who's doing these trims, I hear you ask? Well, it's Staffs, of course. Who else is it going to be? It's the resident wheel dealer, wheeler dealer. There he is. He's a wheeler dealer. I love it. So Steve is probably kicking himself right now going, oh, that's that's all I'm going to be called now, the wheeler dealer. So wheeler dealer is in the house. Uh, someone give Paul five minutes. He's just broke rule free. Uh, who wants to yield the spanner? In fact, no, you got a warning. We'll give some warnings. Uh, because it is a new thing. So next week we'll be on form with the rules. Um, just a couple of warnings on this show. Just to just to help you let you get back into it. Let's not throw. And Dave, I'm thinking maybe let's not do the hand grenade. Let's not do it. Staffs. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to. Uh, I always like to bring them up now and again. Sta staffs. I nearly said staffs then. Dave, you shouldn't have put that in writing. <laughs> Uh, so staffs is really like the six spoke, but I'm liking the four spoke as well. I think this, the four spoke on a Legends Pioneer that's been custom sprayed chrome. Imagine it. Oh, love it. Many colors are available for these uh, wheels, guys. So the best thing you can do is type in uh, staff slot cars onto the interweb and you'll find your wheeler dealer is available pretty much everywhere. In fact, I'm, I might do a little thing and sort of see if we can promote some wheels through our site. Because we are, as you know, we're, mer we're merged. The merch has been merged. And we're on the march with the merch. So I want to do other things in it, which is why I've called it something different from just merch. Um, yeah, let's see if we can elaborate on that. Cool. Okay, yes, that's okay then. Brilliant. No, that's all right. Well done. And uh, good use because we can't discriminate against the Ford Escort or the Weinsteiner Mercedes. Great cars. The new Porsche that's coming out. Don't mention the war. <laughs> yep. Brilliant. And uh, got it confirmed by a second monitor. Fantastic. Paul, good to have you on board, my friend. See why? Ah, okay. I think you know uh, Mr. Bruno, don't you? Brilliant. I'm glad you come on. Yeah. All oh, right. Okay. I think you had a 15 square meter train and track, a uh, hybrid train and track. I thought it was great until you saw that. Right. I see. Have you got any pictures of what it used to look like, uh, Paul? Because I'd love to share it. Uh, Adrian, Aid, who's just popped off now to watch F1, he uh, has a hybrid. Ian and Doug are magnetic racing. They love a bit of hybrids. So I'd be really interested to see what that looks like if you don't mind sharing if not don't worry uh we'll sort something out so go get some staff's wheels uh it wouldn't be a show would it unless we had a little bit of my mate magnetic racings on here 
Uh, Ian and Doug, Doug and Ian, Ian and Doug, Doug and Ian, Ian and Doug, Doug and Ian, all together at the back. Ian, Doug and Ian, Ian and Doug, Doug and Ian, Ian and Doug. They've been in your head all day now. Mag fans! They've got, and Dave Kennedy broke the news. I'm not sure if it came out earlier in the week. Forgive me if it didn't, but um, here you go. We've got a new variation on the Dunlop Bridge. Now, this bridge is fresh in from an old school reams setup. You can see it in the in the sort of center bottom where that's how it used to look at reams. And you've got a viewing tower right in the middle of the action. So I think this is amazing. It's not quite right for my track, unfortunately, because I'm going to go for more of a urbanistic sort of modern -er track with lots of chrome, lots of metal, lots of city scale. I want to just do a little bit of a more of a, I don't know, not Gotham, but a little bit more, uh, not, not periodic. That's what I'm trying to say. It's going to be a bit more current. So, but they've got this going on. So if you're a period designer, and you do do timely designs and things with your tracks and your scenery. This is a must. Hands down, all day long, bring it home, knocking it out of the park, Ian and Doug. Again, love it. Now, Ian and Doug aren't in the chat. Doug's doing family stuff, and Ian is up in the Highlands, everyone. He's in Scotland. So when he comes back down to this, up, this altitude, uh, he'll catch up on the show and uh, probably on the drive home, actually. <clears throat> And he'll notice that um, this is up here now. So I had the comment on there forever in the way of this. Yeah, absolutely, Dick. Brilliant. This is good. <laughs> A naughty bench. That's right. No, that's good. It's good to push boundaries. Break rules, not in my stream, please. But <laughs> uh, no, really good. Yeah, the boys are smashing it. And I love the way that they cater to lots of different people and different things. Really, really good. Um, yeah, absolutely. We'll definitely get on the staff's building. The bridge interior is amazing. The Dunlop Bridge will be your first bit of scenery. Oh, I love it. Fantastic, mate. SCD's out of here. Did I miss that? Oh, Slot Card Daddy. Yes. Good night, Ted. Good night, mate. You've done amazing. You are literally unbelievably good. Well done, buddy. Yep, we need a... Yeah. That did take him ages. Totally. Great show. All right, cool. There you go. Right, so we've had that. Uh, Pete Shepard, my brother from a different slot car spray and mother, is on the rampage again. Now, I did pick this up two weeks ago, I must admit. But because I've stored it in Google... Can you hear that knocking next door? I mean, seriously. I'm live streaming. I've got someone doing a basement refurbishment next door. Out! <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, Pete Shepard's been doing... And I wanted to do this car. But I kept forgetting to put it in. So I put it in now. It is so nice. So nice. That is a great shout. Uh, let me just rewind here a second. Yep. So Slotar is saying that we need an extra addition. A little tray slide underneath that you can slide your phone into to be a um, lap counter phone holder. Brilliant idea. Yes, Dave. See, engineer, you think about stuff like this. Right, so Pete Shepard is on the march. Um, if you need, if you've got, if you want to do a high spec gift for anyone, if you want to treat someone who's had a car in the past and you've got a nostalgia to it, if they've had to get rid of it and they feel bad about it and you want to cheer them up, then Pete will gladly uh, get a car of your choice. And make it simply look beautiful as this. I have got all sorts of car building and spraying envy. Really is firing it through the hobby for creativity. Well done, Pete. This is a massive, massively piece of good work. Beautiful. And summed up nicely by Daz. Pete Shepard is a god. 
so um there you go whichever god you pray to this is mine so well done pete i'll pray for you later now we did do a feature a couple of weeks back and i wanted to bring you an update live from slot spoils a good friend of ours based in malta who's doing global distribution of his products he has got here right next to me right now your slot card displays like this one fantastic thank you benjamin uh he sent me this for his own market research not to give me one for free because he doesn't believe in that and i believe that's a good thing but he wanted to find out how quickly i could build it with no instructions um now you know i could lead off somewhere else from there don't you but i'm not going to i'm going to stick to my own rules and not go there but anyway benjamin his man he's on fire he's got itchy feet so he's built himself a rolling road so that we can break in our engines we can test things out and I did a feature on it a while ago, so I won't go into it now. But I'm really, really pleased that it is being sought after. So you can see in the bottom right hand picture, he's got five of them going out the door yesterday. Sorry, on yeah, yesterday or Friday. I can't remember. So they are really being well received. People are enjoying them. If you want to roll in road, if you want an ability to break in your motor and do a couple of other great groovy things then do, do, do reach out to Spot Spoils on Facebook or YouTube. All right, guys? So well done, Benjamin. I'm really pleased that that is going off for you. Now, we were in our arms. Uh, we were in chatting together because we hadn't heard anything from the UK Slot Car Festival about our tables a couple of weeks ago. So we were kind of like, he hadn't heard anything, got in touch with me. I hadn't heard of anything, so I started to stretch my legs and just see what we could find out. And I said to him, look, if it comes to it and, and, you know, we can share a table. So we plan to share a table, but the way it's looking, it looks like he might have his own table. So I'll speak to you later, Benjamin, just to find out what you want to do. And then I'll speak to UK Slot Car Festival on our behalf and just let them know what we plan to do. So if it frees up a table for someone else who wants to come and trade, then happy days. So we get more people into the event and... Uh, more choice for people who are visiting to see what's out there. Perfect. Right. So as we, as Daz mentioned earlier, at the start of Sunday slot car sessions, a weekly show with me, Pete Brown. You can find us here every week, uh, loosely from 7.30. If you enjoyed it so far, hit the like button for me. I really appreciate it. And if you want to do something extra special, maybe comment or share it. That would do good if you in fact if you just found the channel why not subscribe as well smash the cowbell and uh you get the well some of you might get notifications some of you might not but at least you've done the process so if you could like comment share and subscribe that would be excellent thank you very much um ex scale extravaganza say that after a skim falls going on next week in newark ish way not in way well sorry sutton on trent somewhere in the middle You've got raffle, you've got um, you've got free Easter end, free entry at 10 a.m. for an Easter egg hunt with a difference. You've got raffle going on, you've got discounted prices. And when I say when Roger discounts prices, it's code name for give them away because we need the space. He buys collections like you and I flick the switch on the kettle i tell you what he literally buys collection after collection after collection after box set after collection and he turns around and he's like got a wall of this stuff and he's like right we've got to have a clear out i've got to get rid of some stuff and this is where he does it so if you're around the east midlands or if you're around the, the midlands anywhere uh and you want a bargain Get down there to Roger Barker Slots. Although, it's not just next weekend you can get a bargain from Roger. You can get a bargain from Roger pretty much every day. Because his opening slogan is, have a barter with Barker and just joust with Juzzy. These guys are open for business. They love the hobby. That's the first mantra of these guys is the fun that they bring and the joy that they bring to people like you, me and Dupree on uh, having a great a great time 
giving people a good time by you know throwing stuff away got i got my uh dodge viper skeletric from there 15 quid they're online they're 30 quid see what i mean it's amazing Daz hall turns out he's luckier than you know cat with a nine with a last life he won the roger barker he found something on the hunt so you gotta get down there and uh you know and, and have a good day uh we'll deal with orpington next week and it's the slot car magazine which can only mean one thing, track fans. We're on the last slide. And, uh, hang on. Yes, my current slot car magazine is in my rucksack, which I take to work and back because I read it on the train and I look at it on the bus. And I like getting it out like this on the, on the train so everyone can see that I read slot cars. Like this. It's ace. So if you want to uh, have an analog option, an uh, offline version, uh, non-digital, then they're your guys. So slotcarmagazine.co.uk, your friend Mark in the chat, happy days. Uh, under it, Dave, you can put it under it, my friend. Yes, absolutely. No problem at all. Uh, I've got limited space under there, but you are more than welcome, Dave, to stick all of your purchases and your new tuning bits and whatever else, what other goodies you've been to go and find. You can pop them under our table. That's fine. We will keep good eye on those for you for sure. <laughs> but no, that's fine, mate. Of course you can come down and put it under the table. It's pretty much what I always do to um, Slot Car Magazine. Like, run over there. Hey, wouldn't mind putting my rucksack under there, would you? So I put my rucksack under there to just stand. I always uh, leave my cup behind at Slot Track Scenics. That's like, that's like uh, the law. And uh, yeah, that's right. I use the armpit, which is, you know, the bus. Yeah, that's fine because that's like a double entendre. That's why you're not in the uh in the in the sin of bin at the moment so you see i'm taking a bus i'll be charging extra for lock storage uh actually we can we can come to an arrangement dave dave we got something to show you here mate well you're not on the mat you don't come on wednesdays <sighs> tripping over stuff right so anyway as you guess that's the end of the slides so we'll take that away get a bit of background on so dave talking of locked storage look what i got it's got a lock on it so what we'll do is all of those precious um cars that you buy at the slot festival in the lockable box mate that is what we're gonna do exactly darren she is in that magazine there you go harry There you go, my friend. Oh, no, Janu, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that it's got to come to an end. Yeah, there you go. So then, guys, that kind of brings us round. No, we had a good show today. Uh, nice show. Very good. Thank you ever so much for being a part of it, making it special celebrating our one year anniversary of live streaming sunday slot car sessions wow a year you put up with my absolute rubbish for a year i can't believe it what's the matter with you people <laughs> brilliant so um i uh, love it yeah page three in the slot car magazine paul is the uh, index that's it so busted Thanks ever so much, The Fingers. I uh, really appreciate that, my friend. And it's nice to see you. I hope Gloria and yourself are keeping well. 
Uh, all good. Right. So on that note, let us go about our days, slot heads. Have a good one. I am going straight down to the garage because literally this thing that um, I'm going to do a little video on this. Uh, Dave, add this to the bottom of that list. <laughs> So I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna go down there and do some laps. I uh, don't know what you guys are doing. I'm actually gonna make a coffee. Then I'm gonna go and do some laps for ten minutes. That's. What I think that's what I need to do. Just before I have to go wedding wedding suit fitting at one o'clock in Milton Keynes. Brilliant. Thanks, Harry. Cheers, mate. Thank you, um, Lionel. You've been there a long time with me, mate. I tell you, a long time. Yep. We're all sick. We know it. But, you know, we're all sick together. Let's just think about the kids while we're being sick. Yeah, they don't need to be corrupted just yet. Bless them. No, I know. <laughs> Benny Hill. Oh, I love it. God, you're bringing me back. Right, let's go. Let's go, everyone. I will see you all guys later. See all you guys and gals later. Have a great week. Anyone who's in on Wednesday, see you there. Everyone's welcome on Thursday for a little bit more shenanigans than you got here today with me and Rahul from Conquest Racing Club. That will be fun. It's on my channel at 8.30. Have a good one. Track five.